Well, the market's been in a sort of subdued mode after the long holy weekend, reacting to perhaps the pause that we saw on Wall Street as well. It's a good time to get your big view on the street and what lies ahead. I caught up with veteran investor Ramdev Agarwal to discuss the portfolio construct for the medium term, given the recent volatility and the fact that we've had this first sign of a cool off in the broader market. Ramdev says the Nifty can actually double in the next five years and one should remain invested in the market. That's his big, big message and takeaway. He also likes uh, sectors like capital market related plays, real estate, defense and power. These are likely to be the key outperforming themes for the next several years. By the way, uh, towards the end, he also shares his take on HDFC Bank, given its uh, recent underperformance. Take a look. See, first thing is you should remain allocated. Hmm. The staying out of market is not going to help because we don't know as we are talking, market will be up 2% or down 2%. You know, yeah. it is that kind of uh, uh, momentum is there. So you be allocated because the long-term outlook is very good. Mm. I have stayed in the market for 45 years. Mm. I mean, I'm really grandpa of this market. You, you started, started by in the 80s, right? 1980. 80. 1980 when index was 100. Sensex oh, was 100. Gosh. I have seen <laughs> index growing by 7, 27, 30 times. X dividend. Come dividend would be almost 1,000 times. Wow. Forces are gathering pace mm. to favor India. Mm. So my sense is this, is this journey is going to be the most exciting journey. Mm. Now here... How do we look at things? How do we develop themes? Where are the big trends? Yeah. So which are the early trends and mm. where things can be big? Like say, uh, say like capital markets, I said. It's just right. a three years old trend. Right. I think if, if we are going to go from uh, 150 million to say 500 million mm. in the next 10 years, mm. I think we have... So there's a long runway. Long, and it's a very consolidated business, mind you. Yeah. It's not a very spread out business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When we started in 87, the mm. turnover was 200 crores per day. Mm. Mm. And there were 500 brokers, they were not able to settle the markets. Today, we are doing, do you know how much we are doing? 400 lakh crores per day. Total turnover. Total turnover. Yeah. And there are only 50 brokers. <laughs> so it's a, it's a real explosion that's happened explosion in the capital markets. Yeah. It's still going at 50%. Sure, sure, so sure. So I think we have a, see, whatever is digitized, hmm. I think it just scales up like mad. So that's one big theme. Yeah. The, let me ask you about the themes that are already now about a year yeah, old. Yeah. And get your sense on whether there is more yeah, steam or not. Should be... The auto is doing well, CapEx is doing well, defense is doing well, medical is doing well. So those are the things which are which are mm. trending very well. Mm. But there are, the real fun is mm. buying something which is not trending well right now yes. or at a very early stage, mm. but eventually is going to become very large. And do you see something like that? Of course. So, so if, no, if you no, could I don't share, have, no, no. not so stock names, like, but just ideas. Like, like, yeah. So sell real estate. Mm. Real estate was in dumps three years back. Yeah. And now they have got up and growing. But... Still, it's the early stage for them. They are repairing the balance sheet still. Mm -hmm. But this sector, along with the stock market, mm -hmm. can become very large. Mm -hmm. Because still the housing is not done. And as you become rich, mm -hmm. I mean, the biggest growth sector is going to be uh, real estate. Because, because you that's want to invest in, in, in a house. Yeah. So yeah. now the issue is that how they use mm -hmm. the power of market cap, mm -hmm. power of uh, their valuation mm -hmm. to, uh, to sp speed up their project execution and give better value to their customers. But what about the stocks? Uh, do you still find value in real estate stocks? I See, don't, see, you have to, you are the investor, you have to figure, I'm telling you the broad trend in the sure. economy, uh, broad sure. trend sure. in the sure. sector. Sure. From there, you can find some small cap in Chennai or, uh, I mean, every city has their own real estate company. Sure. And brilliant guy could be there. Sure. So you have to find those stocks and uh, invest in them. Of course, large cap, DLF, uh, your uh, Oberoi, you are load high. And those things are listed. You can really go and see what is happening there. Absolutely. So, absolutely. so that sector can be very large. Yeah. Defense expenditure, infra expenditure, auto expenditure. Mm. Uh, but actually, when the economy booms, mm. literally every sector participates in that. Sure. Some, sure. Someone's, like uh, CapEx is going to be a very big thing as you mm. go forward. Mm. Very so, big, means seriously very large. So, you know, I completely understand where your optimism is coming yeah. from because when we talk to these companies, the managements, mm -hmm. they talk about their order books, they talk about the opportunity, they talk, they talk about government spending. Uh, but just broadly speaking, uh, in terms of how much the market has already discounted, whether it's defense, whether it's capital goods, there is energy transition, power now, I mean, there's so much of even power, thermal, yeah. thermal capacity power, being added. Uh, your uh, uh, fossil fuel transition, yeah. your wind, solar, those things are not even started. So even in terms of valuations, there's still comfort? Um, don't worry too much about the Why are you so obsessed about valuation? Okay. <laughs> First, you say, what is value? Hmm. You size it up. I mean, hmm. we cannot size it up in this 10 minutes. Sure. sure Every sure. company you have to go and figure out what is the prospect for the company, what the yeah. company is going there. Mm -hmm. Go and understand, stay two days with them. Hmm. Then you'll understand some 
sense of it, uh, sure. what is there. Sure. So markets are not very good in discounting very long term. Hmm. Hmm. They are very good. In fact, where they're uh, they're very excited about the short term, hmm. and hmm. they have no clue about very long term. Hmm. No clue at all. Hmm. And that's why you make money. You see, hmm. in uh, HDFC Bank uh, uh, or uh, um, uh, even Infosys and all, hmm. you made money back ended, not in the front ended. Hmm. Hmm. I mean. In 96, 97, it is very clear HDFC Bank is a winner. Hmm. Or even 2000, it was a winner. You hmm. see, after that, what has happened? Hmm. You got 30% return for next 20 years. Hmm. How come? And now? So now, yes, the story still remains the same, if you understand. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a time to really go and do research hmm. and figure out what is the future of it. Are they going to lose market share? Hmm. Or are they going to build on the market share? Because the, the credit growth or uh, the banking needs of the country hmm. is going to grow at 15, 16%. So the whole call is if they keep going market share, hmm. they will grow 15% plus. Hmm. Hmm. 15 ka milta hai. That's a very, very bullish sounding Ramdev Agarwal. But he also says in the earlier part of the interview that corrections will come. You cannot guess when and why, but don't be too perturbed. Uh, stay invested for the medium to long term. And that's when, uh, Nigel, he's saying the Nifty can double. And then he lists out all of these sectors that he sees are sort of big defining trends that you must uh, see a reflection of in your portfolios. Well, that's right. Uh, good one, uh, Surbhi. Well, you can keep catching excerpts of that all through the day on uh, with regard to that interview as well. By the way, before we move on, just put